And hello again, folks. It is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you some more Dongan Rungpa as we bite our nails. <clears throat> Cough. So. By the way. Huh? What do you mean? Because. You're right. The culprit who, for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. Which kind of sucks, because then the second person, if there is a second murder, gets away scot-free regardless. That's what Monokuma said. Then... Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. Then again, she could have been the one to kill Tenko, for all we know, using one of her own weapons. She could have just lied and said that she wasn't very efficient with stabby stabbies. But, but this is for this is bigger than a killing game, for the sake of the two who died. I need to reveal the truth of both of their deaths. It just seems a little too uh, convenient. It's like someone knew how this would work. Or they just didn't want Tenko to talk, or Angie to talk from beyond the grave! When I came to the, lo uh, the hallway, I seemed more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolding. Whoa, wait, what?! WHAT?! Oh, you fucker. I was about to be like, YES! <laughs> oh my god, I was so hoping that he was killed. Huh? What are you doing? Oh? Wait, why blood loss? Why? So what are you doing? Huh. huh? You stepped through a floorboard? That's so mean. Got a minute? Ah. <laughs> Wait, so it was prepared on all the rooms? So someone didn't just prepare it for the middle room, they prepared it for all the rooms. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean... Dong! Ding! Dong! Huh? What? Can't be over yet. Confidence! Dreams! That's what the killing game is all about! Killing game fans! Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Baseball, soccer, mobile games, they're all nothing compared to the killing game! The killing game just can't be beat! Behold, students, the entrance to the trial ground! What do you mean? We barely investigated shit! We barely talked to anyone! Enough time to check something? What were you trying to check? See? Man. But technically, he could make that face any direction. I mean, seriously, it, it's just a circle. He could have had him made to face the door for all we know. <laughs> huh? 
as he dies from blood loss, would that count as another death? Kokichi leapt, the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. That would have been a lot of blood to, you know, cause that. Uh, let's go too. That's true. Is Maki nervous? I see. So even she gets nervous sometimes. Do you wanna die? That was the way the line was. And again, yeah, I'll take you up on that offer. Dot, dot, dot. Meow. Wait. Why can't I just investigate a little bit more? Why can't I... What was it? I think I've figured out how to use this map. The Shrine of Judgment! <laughs> Not what I want to deal with. Oh dear. Oh. Don't worry. Hmm. Ow. What? This isn't the time any of you. Are you okay? More importantly, are you okay, Kaito? Ah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that being said. You have no brains whatsoever other than for tinkering with shit. I can't say anything, because that's really all I ever do is tinker with shit. Over and over again. Then again, I I'd have to say that she does have bigger boobs than me. Booyah! Mine aren't. Unacceptable. Rest in peace. God, no more Ottawa stuff, please. But... I also... Indeed. Let's <laughs> pray to the one and only Lord Binary. Now I'm a little more disturbed. <laughs> Got a minute? Jeez. Huh? His trap. That's right. All right already. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so Huh? What should I say? Oh, let's start from the left and work our way to the right through all these two-dimensional people. Click. Cuz she died before it finished. I see he's still more interested in that than the case. Damn. Yeah, it seemed like there wasn't very much investigating to this one at all. <laughs> and why couldn't he have really been dead in the hallway? Shut up! All right already. It's a lie. Kokichi never changes, no matter what the situation he's in. Boobs McGee, what do you have to say? Listen up. Pfft. 
please wait. Multiple personality robot disorder. On your knees. You're so dumb. <laughs> That would actually be entertaining. Starts picking up Japanese radio or something. Mm. Yeah, losing Tenko and Angie was probably a huge blow to her. Unless she wanted them all to die. Yeah, you think? Alright, now what? Do I, uh... Ramble, ramble, ramble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. As usual, we walk toward the elevator in silence. As soon as we, re as soon as we remaining survivors stepped aboard, we descended. Perhaps the because. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to move faster. So as we fell faster and faster downward into the black, the elevator stopped and just like always, the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future, or is it... I think Monadam's kind of shut up after not knowing what to do. Now then. Extreme. The third class trial was about to begin. Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. She created the Ultimate Academy Student Council to try and prevent the killing game. Then Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate Akito master. She hated men, but I knew that she hated this terrible killing game even more. The two who were killed here killed were both trying to stop the killing. And who was the one who killed them? Was it one person? Two different people? We need to pin that down in this class trial. In order to live, we have to find out the truth. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. Of course I want to save before I do something stupid again. All right, so who knows? Maybe there is three murderers in total, but the fact is, is we only need to find the one who killed Angie. And I'm, I was like thinking about that board with the blood on it and then Kokichi, but then again, Kokichi's blood was like fresh while that other stuff was dry.
Well, we never actually tried to resurrect the dead. Whoops, I did not... Oops. Well, I guess that's fine. I'll have to work on getting more of those points later. Class trial in session. In session. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. Why? During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. It's like, why do you want murders to graduate from this stuff anyway? Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. I'll vote for myself again. Now, smiles, everyone. It's showtime. Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be much help this time. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Who did it? Ooh. She's pissed. Who killed Angie and Tenko? Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, thinking about it, I don't think it could have been um, Midget Girl, me... Uh, creepy seance guy, or who was the fourth person? Kokichi? He was there, right? Whatever, because there's no way for us to really get in the floorboards, let alone be able to lift up the 175 pound thing or reach the blade in there because she said it was only like so many inches, which wasn't enough for her. Wasn't enough for anyone to swing that into their neck. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. Oh, what the fuck? Didn't finish the ritual, no transfer student. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. She's the ultimate assassin. She could have done it. Which is kind of the scary part. But why? Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. Non-stop debate already? Really? The Necronomicon! I'm guessing this is right. Back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, ritual did work? There we go. I'm not dumb, so. Because no one burned the book. I mean, I am dumb, but still. Ritual succeeded. According to the Necronomicon, Monokuma showed us. You have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. 
Uh, to prevent neighbors from the number down the ashes, precaution might hold the garbage in my life's poison. Sprinkle the ashes on the empty gym and repeat the name of the deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Nah, you think? Oh, I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. You just said you couldn't resurrect the dead. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. Technically, we haven't used it yet, let alone wasted. You should have let me use it to bring Monodam back to life. Wait, isn't Monodam right there? Ooh. Da, da, da. Oh, so resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? There's no way it's possible! There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Well, she doesn't have an egg, she has angel wings. Let's hurry up and find out who the blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? Step aside, Half Pint! I'll handle this! I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie! Why? What? Why? Don't play dumb with me, creep show! I already know what happened! Yeah, why doesn't she, like, install cameras everywhere? Secretly. Oh, gotta put down the cat. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. No. And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. <laughs> you went to the classroom, broke in. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, well, I guess I fucked the pooch on that one. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which one was it for speed? Oh, there we go. You shit eating worm. You went to the classroom, broke in, and murdered the fuck out of Angie. Wow. Is Kari Kyo really the culprit? Does that story fit the facts of the case? We should think about it from the beginning. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Kyo's research lab. Which makes you, Kyo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. You know what? Let's try it. Nope. Didn't think that'd be it. Uh, uh, the pain! But 
I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shitty. <laughs> you went to the class. Try walking. Bam. That's wrong. No, Kia would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Because she was not on the student... I mean, he was not on the student council. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Kio is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Kio couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. <laughs> Why? Because he's a pasty, scurdy little worm. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. But you had a desire to kill someone else. That's poke holes in everyone's words. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? I, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Oh, how clever. <laughs> Gullible. Her, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. That doesn't necessarily mean that's true. Angie could have requested it. You guys do too, right? Yeah, of course. Gonta, shut up. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. Let's be more sarcastic. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. You know, there has to be something we're not looking at here. Maybe there's someone who says... Angie, I would like to join you and Atua in the student council. And then lets her in, locks the door, and then kills her. Then does the magical locky roomy backdoor trick. Or they left the back door unlocked or something. I don't know. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. Why couldn't it just be him? <laughs> you mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. Ooh, protecting your boyfriend. I will let that remark slide. Anyway. Aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well, no, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. But you'd kill someone else. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me too. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. I don't think anyone has the tools to actually torture you. I mean, we're short of kryptonite here. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. We're back in his room. And I'm not the culprit. Getting down in the jungle. Jeez. Gonta, I'm not, not the culprit. Not the culprit. You know, this is getting a little weird. We must consider other possibilities. Oh, God, not this again. Surely there must be suspects on the side of the trace student council. Uh, That's utterly impossible. For last night. A dead shit. Not just anyone can open up the doors. Why? Only Why student council members had access. Late at night. I saw that. No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. I ended up not hearing a damn thing any of them said until I read that one line. Hmm, what was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Oh, that happened? I t 
totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit blaring at me like that. Of course I remember. I mean, think about it. If she's the ultimate assassin, right now she could assassinate everyone in this room without even blinking. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure she could even kill Gonta too in an instant. Aim for him first and get everyone else and then become the black and but escape because no one could vote against her. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. Bull. Huh. Wait, what? What did you just say? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham, killed Angie. Maybe he just smacked her, but ended up not killing her, and someone came in behind and then stabbed with a sword. The culprit was me, all along. What? What? what good would it do to come out with that information and screw us all? Because you're a little bitch. What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah. No joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! I mean, I really wish this was true. That way he could disappear. Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's lying. I'm certain of it. Ha. Huh. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Maybe, maybe smacked her upside the head. That's the only thing I can think of because there was a blunt to her head and then a stab to her neck. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? He could have locked it from the outside the same way. You picked the door closed from the outside? No, that doesn't make sense. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. Oh, that... Okay, so yeah, you could do that, but there's the whole back door with the uh, gold leaf shit. They used a different method. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. Uh... There were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was. Click, click. Um, click. That's it. Wow, that was weird. It wouldn't click. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock, yes. How was it locked from the outside? String! The culprit used a certain tool. The tool that the culprit used to lock the sliding lock from the outside was... Mind mine? I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to aim at, right? Or, the hell is this down here? Are you kidding me? It was a Monokuma down there. I feel like I'm missing seeing something like right here. Okay, yeah, there's the sword, but that was used to stab. That was used to stab the other way. Is there anything else that's, like, hidden over here? How does one select again?
How do you select something? They use the sword to close it? I mean, I knew they stabbed her with a sword, but I didn't think that they actually... Katana that was stabbed in the Kaede's effigy. Oh, that's right. It was still in there. But how? I mean, it was... The this I have no idea. To hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. How? So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I mean, I'm like trying to think about how that would work. It was stabbed into the effigy. I mean, it would have been easier just to use fucking string if you think about it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm, that evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Wait, is it from a previous game? <laughs> Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. I don't understand that. So did they lift up the effigy and then step back and let it smack into it? So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? That's my question. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. I mean, that did seem weird, but I don't see how that works with uh, locking the door. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? A different purpose? What could that have been? The culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of that setup. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. But it'll be clear next time in the next episode. And as per usual, I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode of... Dongan Rungpa as Mo, 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 no, no, Mo. Away from said microphone. I say good day.